What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be continuing my movie ranking lists um, for every single year. Uh, today we're doing 2013, uh, so let's get right to it. As always, we're going from letter S all the way down to F. S being the greatest of the year, F being the worst of the year, in my opinion. As always, there are movies I've not seen. Um, every movie I haven't seen that was included in this video is in the haven't seen section um there's some big movies in there uh, we got a Medea Christmas we got After Earth uh we got some G.I. Joe in there uh Dragon Ball Z uh Hansel and Gretel which uh Witch Hunters uh Pacific Rim uh Now You See Me you know a couple big ones The Great Gatsby uh Wolverine simple stuff that I've just not gotten the chance to watch yet uh, but there, of course, are a ton of things I have seen. So let's go ahead and start off with 12 Years a Slave, which is one of my actually one of my favorite movies of this year. Um, but I'm going to put it in uh, A tier. Um, it definitely like top A tier. I wouldn't put it S tier. There's a lot of really good movies in the year 2013. Um, 2013 was like my like uh, eighth grade into freshman year of high school. Um, so there was a lot of like, that was like a, a big turning point in my life where I started getting into more adult type things, but still kind of fucked with animation. Like you can tell there's a lot more adult films, like, like not adult films, but, um, <laughs> there's more like live action rather than animated. Like I'm getting into, more stuff. I'm broadening my, my, uh, horizons. So, uh, anyways, 42 Jackie Robinson story. This, this is a good ass movie. Um, I'm going to put 42 in S tier. 42 is one of my favorite movies of the year. Um, I don't know if it's like the best, but it's definitely S tier. Um, when people say, uh, the year 2013, 42 is one of the movies that I, automatically think of so it was real big for me um a good day to die hard this movie is easily e uh e tier a good day to die hard is terrible um one of my least favorite if not my least favorite in the entire die hard franchise um a tragic film um a haunted house is it's rated d um it's a stupid comedy um, it's, it's kind of like the scary movie franchise, uh, where they spoof, obviously haunted, uh, 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 horror movies and stuff like that. It's stupid. Um, it's a stupid good time. Um, I don't know what this is. A touch of sin. I did not mean to have that there. Um, about time. I'm going to put about time in C. Um, I'm big on like romance movies and like rom-coms and stuff, but about time, I feel like. I don't know. It's just something's a little weird about it to me. Um, basically, the guy can travel through time um, and basically, like, see, like, what life can be and stuff. It's weird. I don't like it all that much. Um, I feel like it's a little, I, uh, I don't know. It kind of just breaks rules. I don't know, man. I just didn't, like, it's good. But it's not good enough to be any higher than mid-tier. Anchorman 2, I would say, is C-tier in front of About Time. Um, Anchorman is a great movie. Um, Anchorman 2, not so much. It's kind of like the same stuff but rehashed um, a lot of the time. Uh, still mid-tier um, and better than About Time, in my opinion. August, Osage County. Um, this is another mid-tier movie i'm gonna put in front of about time but behind anchorman 2 um i wasn't really excited to watch this movie and really it wasn't anything spectacular in my opinion it's a good movie um with some great drama it's just it's not anything that stands out to me um and in 2013 it wasn't anything that it was even on my radar um so yeah it's just not spectacular bad grandpa on the other hand i'm sorry i love bad grandpa little kid me loved this movie 
I remember watching it when it first came out, and I, it's, it's B tier. I'm not going to put it any higher than B tier, but it's genuinely one of my favorite movies of uh, 2013 that isn't something like spectacular. You know what I mean? S tier and A tier are like the incredible stuff. B tier is kind of like the good stuff that you love, but you know it's not superior that, uh, to, to things in A or S tier. So it's like, it's good. It's just not incredible. Uh, begin again. Uh, Mark Ruffalo's in it. So it's an F tier. I hate Mark Ruffalo. Everyone knows this. Uh, no, Mark, uh, this movie's probably C tier. Uh, I would put it in front of, uh, Osage County. In my opinion, begin again is mid tier for sure. Um, I do not like Mark Ruffalo. So that kind of bumps it down. Um, otherwise it'd probably be B tier. Um, Carrie, the remake of Carrie is it's B tier in front of bad grandpa. I thought Chloe Grace Moretz was uh, very good in the film. And you know what? That's my opinion. Uh, my, one of my best friends, he says that the remake sucks. The original superior in every way. Well, you're wrong. And, uh, fight me. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs too. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, I'm going to say top mid tier. So like the very best in C tier as of right now, um, which I mean, there's a lot of mid tier movies in 2013 actually, but we haven't hit the great ones. We haven't hit the great ones. Curse of Chucky. I enjoy this movie. Uh, I'm going to put it in B tier behind bad grandpa. This movie kind of brought back Chucky for the first time since the seed of Chucky and it brought back the horror aspect, and I really loved it. I thought this movie was good. It could have been better, but it was solid addition to the Chucky franchise and really revitalized it. And now we have Cult of Chucky. We have the TV show. It, it's awesome. So I, I'm really uh, – Curse of Chucky did a lot of good for the franchise. Despicable Me 2, I'm not going to lie, guys. Mid-tier, I'm going to put it behind Anchorman 2. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the second Despicable Me. Um, the only one I truly enjoy, like love, is the first one. And even that, it's not like insane to me. Um, so yeah. Don John. This movie's weird as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna put it in D tier behind A Haunted House. Um, it's just a really weird movie. I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, enough said. I'm gonna put this in mid tier behind... August Osage County um, It's just not anything super insanely solid in my opinion um, It's got a good cast, but it's just I don't know. It, it doesn't stand out to me um, Epic is not epic. I don't love this movie. I'm gonna put it in D tier behind Don John I saw this one time and I turned it off about 25 minutes in I could not get into it uh, maybe someday I'll watch it again and Maybe enjoy it, but I don't see it being a favorite of mine anytime soon. Um, the Fast and Furious 6. I'm not going to lie, guys. I kind of fuck with the Fast and Furious movies. Like, they're stupid and they're mindless. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in B tier behind Curse of Chucky, though. Um, it's it's a good time. It's a fun time, in my opinion. Uh, Free Birds. I feel like this movie was a big flop. Um... But I kind of enjoy it. I'm going to put it in the very top of mid-tier. Uh, Free Birds, best movie in C-tier as of right now. I still feel like C-tier is like overwhelmingly full of movies. Uh, and then S and A. I said there's some really great stuff this year. And there is. There's some great stuff still coming up. But there's a lot of mid-tier stuff uh, that I had to get through. Frozen. I love Frozen. I'm going to put it in A tier behind 12 Years a Slave simply because after a while I get really tired of watching um, like animated Disney movies. Like after like 30 times, you want to just beat the shit out of Olaf. Um, 12 Years a Slave, it's an uncomfortable watch, but at least it's not like constant animation. I feel like animation gets my head like dizzy. After a while, um, there's, it's live action. It's always going to be superior in, in one way. Uh, gravity. I feel like gravity is a major bust. Um, I'm going to put it in mid tier, but at the very top, 
I feel like it was supposed to be like S tier in 2013 and it just never lived up to it. Um, George Clooney, Sandra Bullock. It's a good movie, but it's not anything super memorable. Um, and it's really, honestly, it gets boring like at certain points. It does. So I don't know. Grown Ups 2. Everybody I know loves Grown Ups 2. I enjoy it, but it's not anything insane. I'm going to put it in B tier behind Fast and Furious 6. Um, and that's being kind. I could easily put it top mid tier, but I'm going to put it in B tier out of respect and love for Adam Sandler that I have. Uh, Her, which is a weird movie. We're putting it in D tier behind a haunted house. It's a weird movie. I don't love it. Uh, if you've seen it, you would understand, hopefully. Horns, another one that I don't enjoy. We'll put this um, in front of Don John in D tier. This was like Daniel Radcliffe's first big thing after Harry Potter. And I feel like it just stunk. It was terrible, in my opinion. Uh, Identity Thief. This was one of my favorite comedies of the entire year. Um, when I think of 2013, I think of Identity Thief. This is S-tier comedy for me. Uh, I love Jason Bateman and Melissa McCarthy in this movie. Um, this was kind of like before Melissa McCarthy went out of control and was in every comedy in the entire universe. So this movie, for sure, one of my favorites of 2013. I can always watch it. It's always hilarious to me. Um, Insidious Chapter 2, very good movie. I'm honestly going to put this A tier in front of Frozen, but behind 12 Years a Slave. Um, Insidious Chapter 2, one of my favorite sequels um, in horror in recent history. Um, really, really great movie. Uh, and that's all I really have to say about it. Watch it. Watch the movies. Iron Man 3 is fucking mid-tier, top of mid-tier. It is... The worst of the Iron Man movies, but it's still a good movie. Um, honestly, I wouldn't want to watch it over anything in B, A, or S. Obviously, that's what that means. Um, and so that's why it's top of mid-tier. If I put Grown Ups 2 here, I have to put Iron Man 3 down here. That's just how it works. Lone Survivor. This movie was shockingly good. I'm going to go ahead and put this top of A tier in front of 12 Years a Slave. I really thought uh, The Lone Survivor was really, really good. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie, um, which is shocking. I don't really, like, fuck with, like, war movies, but this was it was a good movie. Uh, Mama, this is an interesting one. I'm going to go ahead and put it in C tier um, behind Freebirds. It's good, but it's not, like, spectacular. Um... It's like, it's like you watch it once or twice, and it's like, all right, I've seen it. it it's okay. I, I don't need to see it again. Man of Steel. I really fuck with Man of Steel, but I don't think it's A tier. Um, I'm going to put it top of B tier. Man of Steel definitely deserves some respect on its name. Uh, it's probably one of the better DC movies in the last decade, so I'll give it that much. Uh, I really love Henry Cavill as Superman. It, it, he really is fantastic. And uh, if you haven't heard, he's done with The Witcher after season three having been made. So, uh, yeah, Henry Cavill going back to Superman confirmed? Who knows? Maybe. I would love that. Uh, Monsters University. Awesome movie. Um, I would put it in B tier, though. Um, and I would put it in front of Carrie, but behind Man of Steel, uh, kind of right in there, little, little good movie, I still prefer Frozen over Monsters University, um, both really great movies, it's just, it's, Monsters University is not anywhere near as good as Frozen at all, movie 43, F tier, moving on, Oblivion, I, uh, you know, Oblivion's good, um, but it's not, like, spectacular. I'm going to put it in C tier um, in front of Gravity. I'll give it that much. Um, I'm not a big fan of Tom Cruise. It was kind of weird. It's kind of, like, it's a futuristic, almost, like, dystopian world-looking type bullshit mess. 
Uh, like I said, not a big fan of that type of stuff. Uh, so mid-tier, almost at the very top of it, I feel like I'm being very genuinely nice. Some people love that movie. I just can't get into it. Oz the Great and Powerful is D-tier. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't love it that much. I'm going to put it behind a haunted house. Uh, I just feel like it's a weird addition to the Wizard of Oz universe. So, yeah. Planes, another one I'm not a big fan of. I'm going to go ahead and put Planes the top of D tier. I don't love Planes. I'm sorry. It's just stop trying to be cars. I'm sorry. Really. R.I.P.D. Um, I feel like this movie is also like top C tier. I'm going to go ahead and put it literally the, the best movie in C tier. Um, in front of Iron Man 3. It was a really good movie, but I wouldn't put it above Grown Ups 2. Um, Saving Mr. Banks, though. This is a movie I think of whenever I think of 2013. It's a great movie. I love Mary Poppins. I love the history of it. This movie is actually one of my favorites of the entire year. I am putting it in S tier at the very top. Uh, Saving Mr. Banks is genuinely one of my favorite 2013 movies. Uh, I love everything about it. So, yeah. Uh, if you disagree, that's totally fine. I know it's not for everyone, but this movie meant a lot to me and a lot to childhood me. Um, so, yeah. I love every minute of that movie. Scary Movie 5 is trash. We're going to put it in E tier behind A Good Day to Die Hard. Uh, Texas Chainsaw is trash. We're going to go ahead and put it in E tier in front of A Good Day to Die Hard. <laughs> um... The Big Wedding. This is an interesting one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in C tier. Uh, I would put it in front of Enough Said. It's it's not that great of a movie. Um, it's an interesting one. Like You can watch it once or twice and be like, all right. Um, but like it's not anything that stands out to me. Uh, the Butler. It's been a while, but I feel like this is like C tier as well. Um, I believe, let's put it, I, I, let's say in front of, uh, Osage County, let's put it there. Lee Daniels, the Butler. All right. The Conjuring. Now this is the first horror movie I ever saw in theaters. It, this movie, I remind myself of 2013, uh, whenever I see it. So we're going to definitely put that in here and we're going to go ahead and put it, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say we're going to put it in front of 42. Uh, it, it really was like the best horror movie in a long time. Uh, when it came out, people loved it. It was huge. Definitely S tier type movie. The Crudes. I enjoy this movie a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put this in a tier, um, in front of Insidious Chapter 2. I really love The Crudes. I thought it was a cute movie. So, yeah. The Evil Dead, mid-tier at best. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it uh, in front of The Butler, behind Begin Again. I'm not a big fan of it, but... Hangover Part 3, again, mid-tier, and this is low mid-tier. Um, I, I would put it, in fr again, in front... Oh, maybe... No, in front of in front of Evil Dead, it's superior to the Evil Dead in my opinion. The Heat. See, this is Melissa McCarthy, Sandra Bullock. This is like okay. Uh, we'll put it in C tier. Uh, I'm gonna say behind Oblivion, just because I fucks with Oblivion more than I fucks with the Heat. But it's not like terrible. Um, The Hobbit: Desolation of Smaug. Um, uh, let's put this in B tier. Um, I would put it, I would put it in second place behind Man of Steel. That's what I would, uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, for some reason, I love this movie. Um, I'm going to put it in B tier, um, in front of Bad Grandpa. It's just a fun time, honestly. I, I love Steve Buscemi. I love Steve Carell. Um, and... It's just, it's a fun time. It really is. The Internship. It, this movie was good the first time you see it, but then it gets really stale. Um, I'm going to put it in C tier uh, in front of Gravity. 
it's like still good, but like once you've seen it once or twice, you're like, all right, I know what I'm watching. Um, the Purge. This movie could have been great, and it falls kind of flat on its face. We're gonna go ahead and put it in front of um, the Heat in C tier. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This is a great movie. I'm gonna put this in A tier. Um, in front of 12 Years a Slave, definitely an A-tier movie. If you've not seen The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, you need to. Great movie. The Smurfs 2, definitely mid-tier. Um, I'm going to put it behind, uh, behind Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. I feel like that's respectable. The Spectacular Now, this is another one that kind of falls flat for me. Uh, we're going to put it in mid-tier. I'll say behind Mama. I feel like that's fair. The Way, Way Back. This movie, in my opinion, is awesome. And uh, I'm going to be honest, definitely my favorite, uh, like, summer vacation-y, like, drama movies of the year. Uh, I mean, how many do you get those in a year? So, I, I get it. Not many. But... It's a very interesting movie. A top of A tier. The Way Way Back. If you've never seen it, go watch it. The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, I'm not a big Wolf of Wall Street fucking, like, I don't even know, like, fan. I'm not, like, I'm not going to over, like, love this movie like so many people do. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say B tier, uh, in front of everything. B tier in front of everything, in my opinion. Um, the World's End, this is is a fun movie. Simon Pegg, Nick Frost. Uh, but I'm going to say C tier. Um, I would say Behind the Heat. Uh, it's my least favorite of the Simon Pegg, Nick Frost trilogy movies. Uh, they did Shaun of the Dead. Uh, they did Hot Fuzz and they did The World's End. And it's my least favorite of the three. So I would say mid tier is fair. This is the end. One of my favorite movies of the year. Oh my god. One of my favorite movies of the year. Uh, I'm going to put this. Honestly. Ooh shit. We're going to go first. Literally the very top. This is the end. This movie. I was 13 years old guys. Alright. I was 13 years old. This movie. Was like a fever dream. Like this was all the funny guys that there were. In one movie. And they all played themselves. And the world ended. This was literally. Like the craziest shit possible. So I loved that movie. Uh, Thor the Dark World is. Uh, welcome to F tier. <laughs> no. Um, we're going to put it in. Mid tier. Um behind about time because it's it's not good it's not a good movie turbo is mid tier uh you know what no we're gonna put it in yeah mid tier i would say in front of Cl uh cloudy with a chance of meatballs too so we're gonna put it oh come on there we go perfect up next, we got Upstream Color. I hate this movie. F tier. It's my least favorite um, from the entire year. Warm Bodies. I love this movie. Um, a lot of people hate on it. I really enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and put it um, in front of 12 Years a Slave in A tier. We're the Millers. Fantastic comedy. Putting it in A tier. Uh, in front of Lone Survivor. It's top content. Uh, White House Down, this is a good action movie. I'm going to put it in B tier behind uh, Man of Steel. I'm not a big action fan, so the fact that I put that that high is awesome. World War Z can go and rot in hell, um, but it's not like the worst movie ever, so I'm going to put it in C tier. Um, I'll put it in front of The Purge. Whoop, in front of The Purge. But I hate the movie. It's st I can't. I still can't hate on it to the point where it's like the worst ever. But it's one of my least favorite mainstream zombie movies. Um, so yeah, 
Anyways, that is every movie from this video, from this list of 2013 movies from S all the way down to F, of course, with a massive chunk of haven't seen. But, I mean, S tier, we got five movies in there. Uh, uh, these really are the movies I think of when I think of 2013. Uh, a tier has some bangers in there. B tier's got some bangers. C tier has some, you know, a lot of, you know, middle of the field kind of stuff. D, E, and F all can just go plummet down a rabbit hole of death. I don't know. But that is that. 2013 movies all wrapped into one video. Uh, what do you think, guys? What's your favorite movie from the year 2013? What's your least favorite from the year 2013? Uh, you have any questions or comments about the video? Go ahead and comment down below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. And if you're new here and you want more content just like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.